Residents in Greene County were worried about a bottling company's impact on a spring within the area. County leaders considered placing a moratorium on that spring to prevent that. But as News Channel 11's Leah Johnson reveals, more information led to no moratorium being passed. Lots of discussion was held at the meeting tonight regarding Eternal Water Company and their plans to pull water from a local spring. It's a concern some people in the community brought to the table. Right now we're at a county level just trying to st make a stay, uh, hold off till we can get some policy changed. Um, the policy that they have now is pretty much geared for runoff and, and surface water protection. George Jennings lives in Afton near the area where the natural spring is. Some of his main concerns are the environmental impact on the spring and locals in the community having access to the spring water, which currently they do. Just mostly the people on Mill Creek feel ambushed and isolated. Nobody really cares about their creek, but this is a huge problem. During the meeting, county commissioners were able to hear from three parties, Eternal Water, Premium Waters, the current bottling company in Greene County, and Mr. Jennings and his concerns for locals in the community. The spring is located on private property and the owners created a lease with Eternal Water, allowing them to test the water on site. The study conducted of the spring water has been sent to the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation. Because the spring would be on private land, the county is hands off when it comes to TDEC testing. We don't have any of that study information. All of that resides in the under the control of TDEC and they're the, they're the regulatory agencies that says yes you can or no you can't. According to Eternal Water, they would not build on the spring for water production, but would like to create a facility in Greenville sometime in the future. They also stated in their lease agreement with the property owners, community members can still have access to the spring water. In Greenville, Leah Johnson, News Channel 11. Thank you, Leah. The property owners of the spring at the center of discussion were at the meeting tonight, but did not speak.